You are welcome to another video of Juniper Security Associate course. In this section, I will talk about Juniper SRX traffic flow, which the knowledge is required to troubleshoot connectivities over SRX devices. Juniper SRX traffic flow for the first packet of a new session or packets of an existing session is different, and this is what we will discuss in this section. As Juniper SRX traffic flow diagram shows, when a packet enters and interferes, first of all, it checks whether the packet belongs to a new session or to an existing session. The question is, how does it understand that the packet belongs to an existing session or that is a new session? With matching the five fields in the packet header in layer 3 and layer 4, including source IP, destination IP, source port, destination port, and protocol number. If there is a match with session table, then the packet belongs to an existing session. Otherwise, it's a new session. As you can see, the traffic processing is different for the first packet of a new session or a packet from existing session. As I've explained in the previous section, only the first packet of every session is checked against security policies. Packet will be treated according to the matching policy. All other packets from the same session, incoming and outgoing, are treated exactly the same as the first packet. For example, if the address of the packet must be translated, or the packet must be encrypted or any other resulting policies will be the same for all packets of the same session. As you can see in the diagram, a screen option is the first policy that will be applied to both packet of a new session or packets of existing sessions. A screen option is to prevent general attacks in layer 3 and layer 4 such as IPS scan, port scan and scene flood. In a separate section we will talk about screen policy in detail. Actually the policy is the most important section of Juniper SRH traffic flow diagram. As you can see only for the first packet of every new session SRX will try to find a matching policy to see how the packet must be treated. The matching policy will be stored in the session table and all other packets belonging to this session will not look up for the policy and be treated exactly the same as the first packet. Now the question is if the policy option is the most important option in traffic flow, why it is not the first option to be checked in traffic flow? This is because the policy applies to the traffic between zones. In other words, the policy cannot be applied until incoming and outgoing zones of the traffic are determined. On the other hand, the outgoing zone will be determined when packets outgoing interface is extracted from the routing table since zones are configured based on interfaces. Therefore, the routing lookup process must be performed before policy. After the routing lookup, the outgoing interface is determined based on the outgoing interface, outgoing zone is extracted when incoming and outgoing zones are clear to Juniper SRX, then it is possible for Juniper SRX to do policy matching. Now the question is why a static NAT and destination NAT options are processed before policy option and even before routing lookup. This is because with a static NAT and destination NAT, it is possible that destination IP address of a packet is changed and if destination IP address is changed it will affect routing result 
with possibly different outgoing interface result and therefore a different outgoing zone and finally a different policy matching then why the source NAT is not processed before policy matching this is because even if the source NAT change the source IP address of the packet it will not influence routing process and therefore it will not influence outgoing interface outgoing zone and resulting policy match this is because routing process is based on destination IP address and not source IP address then application layer gateway and services option will be processed with application layer gateway, application layer information will be processed to determine if a packet is permitted to be forwarded or not. With application layer gateway, controlling dynamic applications which have dynamic ports like FTP and RTP will be possible. Application layer gateway will be discussed in a separate video with services option the packet can optionally get some services like encryption and ids ips if they are configured in juniper srx device and finally a new record in the session table will be created since it is the first packet of a new session packet header information and also the policies match with the packet will be stored in the session table all other packet belonging to this session will be processed according to the below section of traffic flow diagram in this section we will not have any more policy checking in control plane and only the result of policy which is stored in the session table will be applied to the packet in data plane in other words the address of packet will be changed if there is any NAT option for the session and application layer services will be also applied to the packet if they are already matched and stored for the existing session the path is called fast pass since the packets are quickly forwarded without looking policies in control plane there are some services that are always per packet it means each packet will be processed separately without matching if it is a packet from a new session or belonging to an existing session polyser shaper and firewall filter are these services with polyser on shaper we can limit the bandwidth of any traffic traffic filter is actually like access control list that we have discussed in the JNCIA Junos course